What's good YouTube? It's your boy Meso Caleb and welcome back to another banger video. I'm here with the one and only Sleazy. I am Sleazy on Instagram. Ether and performance, we do this shit. Yes sir, he is our vice president of E3M and this man is rocking the 2014 Dodge Challenger RT and this thing is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at this solid profile right here. We got the 20 inch rims on the side and this thing looks great. So we got quad tip exhaust right here and she is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this, I love this. So have you done anything to the exhaust? Oh yeah. Just muffler delete. Okay. Resonator delete. Okay. That's it, bomb stock. As we know it, the 2014 Dodge Challenger RT is a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine and this thing will take a lot of you guys out for this race a lot of people go for the scats but this is just as good so for you guys looking to save some money while getting a v8 this is the way to go also let's talk about specs so the 2014 rt challenger is 414 horsepower crank to the crank on the dyno to the crank on a dyno and to the rear wheels we are looking at somewhere around 380 385 wheel horsepower two on a stock v8 this is a stock rt and this thing is still pushing power because i don't think a lot of y'all understand a lot of people nowadays are so wrapped around 800 horsepower yeah. but i don't know if you understand that just 300 horsepower 400 horsepower that right there solid on this kind of car will send anybody home crying than a mama it is a good bang for your buck good bang for your buck a lot of people do go for the scats like you said but you know scats are expensive very you get to an rt you're making not scat pack power but you're making pretty reasonable power now the weight on this car we are looking at about four thousand yeah a little maybe a little over four thousand about four thousand yeah but a little over four thousand about four thousand fifty pounds on this car so it is big this is a boat that's what they call these but look the, the power to weight ratio is going to be insane once this car is modded and actually good to go because i don't think you guys understand man this thing is no joke but yeah so let's go ahead and take a look at the interior and then we're gonna go ahead and go for some zero to 60 pulls some base pulls rolls and some flybys and then we'll be out your way it's your boy mess okay look make sure you guys drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel road to 10k is on the way and let's get it get it go so taking a look at this interior we looking at a nice digital setup for the radio this is aftermarket this is a pioneer um doubled in right doubled in radio and it comes with the whole nine so he told me this thing comes with apple carplay netflix can you watch YouTube on here too? Yeah, it does mirroring. Mirror, mirroring, screen mirroring. Oh my God, I look, wait, hold on. I'm a dizzy, I might have to go get me one. <laughs> Anybody that's over six foot, you gotta have some leg room and the seats, comfortable, they hug you. We have these cloth seats right here and they are nice. Like I really am feeling this car. This thing is amazing. The back space, the actual, the back seat spacing is a lot bigger than the Mustang to say that this is a two door car. And on the dash we have what is that? I can't really see right there. We 160, have 160 okay. on the dash. RPM red line is what? 8,000 or 7,000? Okay, so we have 7,000 RPM red line. And I'm actually impressed by Dodge because I really, I never drove a Mopar. And I actually heard back in the day, Sleazy didn't like Mopar about one, two years ago. <laughs> but now you now you in one. So what changed your mind? My, my personal experience, if you, like you said, if you a bigger person or you tall, it's the perfect car for you, hands down. Facts. And on an everyday to day basis, since they make so much low end torque, yeah. you can really feel the fun in them. You can have a lot of fun. Like so do you feel it all on a daily drive? Yeah. Okay, actually, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Would you daily drive this car? Easily. I daily drive this over a scat pack every day. Scat pack, some people say it's too much for everyday driving. Mm -hmm. Some people say that. I feel like the RT is like right there in the middle. Mm -hmm. And I see right here, you have a sport mode right here. So. Mm -hmm. So you have normal, like a normal base mode and then sport mode. Can you actually feel like yeah. a difference in sport, yes. like throttle response yeah, and suspension so. tightened up and everything? So. All right, so he said this car is stock and I wanted to talk a little bit about gas. How much gas are you getting city and highway on this car? 35. Well, that's not that bad because a lot of V8s be like yeah. 45, 50. You know what, they actually, what they don't tell you, when I first got this car, right? Okay. 
Most V8s they run 93. Most uh -huh. most V8s. This one actually runs 89 for optimum performance. That's what Dodge says in the manual, really? like in the handbook. I didn't know that, so I was running 93 when I first got the car, and it so cost like hurt 40. It, you kind of hurt in performance a little. Yeah, bit? it was hurt in performance, and I didn't even know that. So I started running 89. It ran much more smooth. Okay. And uh, did I see it? performance difference if it was it wasn't big so yeah yeah that's understandable yeah but because the gas you were tuning going. it on that on that yeah, yeah that it was, don't yeah. really make a difference you know so but, but it just ran a lot cleaner yeah but like you know every day you probably get around if you drive good light foot maybe like 17 in the city 17 that's not bad that's yeah. just, that's just it's about not, the same as my v6 yeah so because mine gets around like 18 18 19 yeah, city sure. and then uh on the highway, it gets around like 24, 25, yeah, which that, is, that's, that's fair for a muscle car, you know? Yeah, for sure. Cause like, you know, most of these regular cars out here, They're you like see 13, like, yeah. 13, 14 to yeah. the city. So, so that's it pretty gets good. pretty, it's not good gas mileage, but it's decent for a V8, you know? It's Very good decent, cause V8. I know, but the thing, the crazy part is for those who want to mod their V8s out there, it's gonna hurt your gas. I'm just gonna tell you right now. As soon oh, as yeah. you start dropping some heavy mods in here, it's gonna, that thing is slowly gonna drop. If you getting 17, man, you go full bolt on in this. Yeah. You might be getting around like 10. 10. Yeah. Nine. Nine and a half. Let's go ahead and get a warm start going. And then we're gonna get some pulls for you guys. And then we're gonna get on with the rope. loving this car already man it's like the more reviews i do i just get more disappointed in my own car bro i'm telling y'all y'all ready <laughs> nope <laughs> all ready all ready that nigga scared of this Like I said the first time, bro, V8 is V8. Yeah, V8 is V8. And hey, look at this. Oh! And they got a, like, a lot of backfire, like, when yeah, they looks, shift. Yeah, it looks impressive. <laughs> the engine farting in this bit. This hoe's nice, though. We, that's we just to let people know. She just want to say some shit because she knows. So she, them, you know. Yeah, that's that's how they know. It, people automatically slow down. She said, "Hey, you know your flashers are on hazards." <laughs> that, like that's the tour. 
God damn. And I'm not even dog. Oh, <laughs> if you're doing like roll racing type, the eight speed models are better for top end. I've noticed that because I've raced them before. Mm -hmm. They kind of pull on the top end a little more. You talking about the newer model, the RTs? Yeah. But the five speed one, because this is a five speed. Mm -hmm. The five speed. For a five speed, it big get up. Five speed pulls harder from the initial. I actually have a video. I'm gonna show you. Fifteen out of ten, bro. This is pressure, pressure with a capital P, my dog. Like this, this is just too much fucking power, nigga. Fuck that. And I'm trying to work my way up to start driving fucking Hellcats and shit. I don't even want to know what that shit feel like, honestly. So, so yeah, that shit. I've been in. I, uh, I've been in one. Are y'all sitting this hoe? Sitting this hoe? Oh, so much. Hell can't feel like it's uncontrollable down there. Yeah, like you be seeing people going sideways, they turning the wheel, uh, just to go straight. You caught the wheel quarter turn to the right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, and it's just like the car's so fucking fast. It's like you be like, it's, it's, it's not uncontrollable, but it's so fast to the point to where it makes you fucking nervous. Yeah, that adrenaline gets to pumping and yeah, shit. Yeah, you be like, bro, this shit. You like, will I crash it? Like, you start thinking about that shit, you like, damn, this is so dumb. And the Hellcat makes it worse because of the fucking sound, the little super Yeah, that, yeah. Like, oh. That was devilish for real. Let's do it. What's up, better knock me back, boy? the crib i hope you guys enjoyed this amazing amazing 2014 dodge challenger rt this thing is crazy it is honestly i didn't expect anything <laughs> when i tell you this thing is torquey that 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 it's a big bone stock you know what i'm saying it's hard it's hard to i'm trying not to cuss because this <laughs> this car is a freaking beast they're torque monsters they're drop really intake you have a little intake on this, John. Maybe it's some head. If you go headers, Stupid. headers, intake, throttle body, throttle full bolt on. Right? Yeah, just full bolt on and a tune. Yeah. You, yeah, you, you putting some work on some, on some scats, some arrows, V8, all, any V8, they go. Full bolt on, tune. You will walk scats easy, easy. You will walk a stock 50 easy, probably. And no, I think so. Eh, yeah. Mm. Wait, wait, maybe. That might be the only. Oh, it's a little tough. But for sure, a scat pack. I know you'll be the scat pack. Oh, yeah. But yeah, this this thing is tough. 
overall you get a 10 out of 10 in my book for the review this is sleazy e3 in performance is the car club you guys i hope you guys actually are enjoying the fact that i joined the car club because this is something that i never would have thought that i would have done six months ago i never would have thought i've been joining the car club i never would have thought i would made this many friends in this short amount of time so I hope you guys are enjoying the content. It's way more, way more stuff to come. We got some crazy stuff lining up. If you guys want to see a race between Sleazy and a mystery racer, we will find an even matchup and line it up. But yeah, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy, Messo Caleb. Like, comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. We out.